Hi, and welcome to another quick tip from Area 66. Has this ever happened to you? You have some PDFs of maybe a keynote document or a pages document you'd like to send somebody. And when you go and drag those in to attach those to an email, you get an error that says that the file is too big. Well, today I'm going to help you learn how to reduce the size of your PDFs so that you can attach them to your email without going over the size limit. So let's take a look first here at our PDFs. Oftentimes when you save a PDF from Keynote, it generates a, a very large file. So if I take a look here, you can see here is a PDF of a presentation that I put together. And if I want to look how large it is, if I click on it and come up to File, I can come to Get Info, and I can see here that this file is 24.9 megabytes. Now Gmail has a limit of 25 megs, so if I want to send these two presentations together, I need to make both of them a little bit smaller. Let's check how big the other one was. I'll go here, I'll go File, Get Info, and I'll see that that second presentation was 10.2 megabytes. So those two together are definitely over the 25 meg limit for Gmail. So let's go ahead and close out of this. And I'm going to show you how to reduce the size of these so that you can attach both of them to a message. So we're going to use an application called Adobe Acrobat Pro. And if you're not familiar with Acrobat Pro, there are several tutorials on Area 66 that can get you familiar with it. But it's basically Adobe's Pro application for handling PDF documents. I'm going to open up this first one in Acrobat Pro, and there's two ways that I can do it. If I have it on my dock already, I can just drag it to the icon to open it, or I can go ahead and I can hold down the control key, click my document, and then come here to where it says open with. And you'll see in a second here, it'll pop up with the list of all of the different applications that are able to open that PDF. All right, so now we can see all of the different applications that can open up that PDF. You'll notice that by default, Preview opens up all the PDFs, but for this case, I want to use Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I'm going to come down here and select it. And now this is going to open up that file in Acrobat Pro. And I can scroll through it. I can see all of my different slides that I have. In order to reduce the size, I'm going to come up to the File menu, and I'm going to click that, and I'm going to come down to Save As, and you'll notice there's some different options here but I'm going to choose Reduced Size PDF. And I'm going to click that and it's going to give me some options here. It says Make Compatible With. Now the difference here is the newer version that you have, the smaller the file size is going to be. Um, I would say you're pretty safe choosing Acrobat 10 or later. That's what most people have. So I'm going to keep with that one and I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to ask me to name it. And so maybe I'll do Vision Presentation Dash small so we can tell the difference between them and I'm going to hit save and now it's going to start going through and it's going to look at that PDF to try to find images that maybe it could make smaller um, you know reduce the size of some of the backgrounds and it's just going to work a little bit you know kind of work its magic and you'll see down on the bottom here it'll show you kind of a progress of how far it's going And once it finishes, it'll pop up with a little dialog box letting you know it's done. And if there are any things that it couldn't do, it'll tell you that as well. So in this case, it says it contains image masks that couldn't be downsampled. You can just ignore that. It's telling you that it's not as small as it could have been, but it's going to keep the look the same. So I'm going to click OK. And now if I close out of that and come back to my desktop here, here's my original file. Here's my new file. So that original file was 24.9 megabytes in size. If I take a look here at this new file that got created, you'll notice that it got reduced down to 6.2 megabytes. So from 24.9 down to 6.2. That's a substantial savings for you on your space. So let me try that again with my second presentation. So I'm going to hold down Control. I'm going to click it. I'm going to go to Open With then choose Adobe Acrobat Pro. Then I'm going to come up to File. I'm going to go to Save As and then pick Reduce Size PDF. I'm going to keep it at Adobe 10 and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to choose this one, name it, click 
click Save and you'll see that it's working through this. Now remember originally this one was 10.2 megabytes, so let's see how small this will go. All right, I get my message, I click OK. All right, so let's check this. So we had the original was 10.2 and the new one is now down to 2.6. So if I go back to my email message, I can select these small ones, drag it in, and now I can email those two PDFs to anybody I want and they get under the size limit for Gmail. So this has been a quick tip from Area 66 on how to reduce the size of your PDFs. Thank you.